I'm Dr. Divya here. Uh, welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how to use flashcards for your preparation. So flashcards use a uh, really important study technique that is active recall. I've mentioned about active recall in one of my previous video. So according to the researchers on various study methods, active recall is actually far superior than the age-old method that we use by rereading our notes and repetition. Right? We, we know that uh, we have an uh, amazing memory consolidation process happening in our brain, the PEPE circuit, including the anterior nucleus of the hypothalamus, caudate nucleus, hippocampus, and mammary bodies. They form the PEPE circuit, and by repeating and doing the task again and again, we consolidate that memory, and it becomes a habit. Right. So rereading notes is just strengthening of that circuit, and it is actually a good, uh, good and effective method of learning and revision. But when it comes to active recall, when you're actively trying to retrieve that information, that is actually far, far, far superior than rereading your notes and repetition. So flashcards they work majorly on the the spaces of active recall. Now, how to make these flashcards and how to use them? Uh, I'm going to discuss that straight away in this video without much ado. So first question is, how do I make my flashcard? So whenever it comes to building a flashcard, the basic structure of the flashcard includes a side one and a side two. Let me show one, one of uh, my flashcards. So uh, this these are the flashcards that are made from my GIT section that includes diarrhea, constipation mainly in pediatric population. So this is a flashcard. This is side one and this is the side two. So as you can see, on side one, there's always a question or a topic, right? Like in this flashcard, the side one includes treatment plan for dehydration and ask me what are the plan A, plan B, and plan C. And side two will always have the answer to that question. What is plan A? What is plan B? What is plan C? Right? So basic structure of every flashcard would be on one side, you will have one question. On the other side, you will have answer to that question. Now, how can you make these flashcards? You can either make uh, them on paper like I do, or you can use apps like Anki or Quizlet, or you can use Excel by making question in one column and answer in another column, and just fade down the other corner, and uh, whenever you click it, it appears. So it acts like a flashcard only. So this is how you make a flashcard, the basic structure of flashcards. Okay, so I have made these flashcards. Now, how to use them? How to use them to my good? How can I use them to revise? Right? So, how to use them? Use them to recall. Right? See one side of the uh, flashcard. You see treatment plan for dehydration, plan A, plan B, and plan C. And now try to recall what is plan A, what is plan B, and what is plan C without turning to the back side. Right? Now, let me think whatever comes into my mind. Okay, so plan A, I know it's home-based. When there is no dehydration, I do that. Plan B, uh, you can send the child home, but you can admit also for observation. Uh, I have to give maintenance fluid or I have to tell how to give ORS. It was 75 ml per kg something. C is severe dehydration. I have to admit the child and uh, give uh, correction, 30, 70 correction, 100 ml per kg correction. Okay, so as you can see, whenever, uh, as I'm recalling, I'm not much confident, right? I think, okay, I'm not confident when it comes to plan B. What are all the points that were included? Did I recall all of this or not? So, this flashcard for me right now is not an easy one because I know most of the things, but some things I don't know. Neither it is too hard that I'm clueless. So, this is a medium uh, category card for me, right? So whenever you use the card to recall the information, you divide these cards into three decks. One would be the easy deck that you recall each and every point about the topic. One would be a medium deck like this one, where you know some things, by, but you don't, uh, you're not that much confident that you uh, slide it into the easy desk. And also, if you are clueless about the topic, you read it, but now you do nothing at all. You're not able to recall it. Then it goes into the hard deck. Now, the key to revision is, you go through hard deck far more number of times as compared to the medium deck and as compared to the easy deck, right? So your revision should be focused in the last seven days, seven to 10 days should be on the hard deck. And daily also, you can review these hard deck cards so that they downgrade to medium or easy deck, right? And as I am saying that you know now what are your strong topics, what are your weak topics, and you know you have to revise hard topics again and again. Right? And at a frequent interval of time, this study technique is based repetition, repeating all the facts 
that you feel uh, you are not confident in, this is space repetition. So combining active recall with space repetition, it is a double, double power, right? So you'll remember more stuff. You can make these flashcards according to your, uh, according to your time and everything. Uh, accumulate and use them as, you can use them anywhere. Also apps I want to review here is Anki. So let me show you this app. Okay, so this is my Anki app. I have uh, divided these into uh, various topics. So let us study neurology today. Okay, so the question is, is the alloc plate dorsal or ventral? Does it contain motor or sensory neurons? Okay, this confuses me or might confuse you. Okay, let's recall what is alloc plate. Is it dorsal or ventral? I think it's ventral and it contains sensory neurons. Let's show me the answer. Yes, it's dorsal and sensory neuron. So it was just easy for me, right? Because I li like neurology. I know that this is this. It was easy for me. So when I click move it to the easy deck, they uh, will again make me show this card after four days. If I say that this was a good question, then one day. If it was a hard question, then, then they will repeat it much sooner, like uh, within 10 minutes. And if I want to recall the fact again and again, and I want it to appear again, then less than one minute. So let's move it to the ED, easy desk, right? This way you can use uh, apps like Anki and Quizlet. I hope uh, this video was helpful. See you next time. I hope uh, uh, these study methods you employ and uh, move uh, edge further and would uh, ace uh, your exams, upcoming exams, and uh, make this learning process fun. See you next time in another video. Bye-bye.